So I get a lot of comments and questions in my borderline personality disorder classes and on these types of platforms, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, um, asking about BPD in children. Specifically, these questions are coming from parents. You know, sometimes parents want to know if their child has BPD. Other times, parents are afraid that their child has BPD like them. Sometimes they just think, you know, that their child isn't receiving the diagnosis they need because there's some sort of stigma behind diagnosing people with a personality disorder before they're 18. Now, regardless of all of these facets, okay, one thing is most important here to remember, and that's if your child or a child is exhibiting symptoms that correspond with the BPD condition, you know, things like jealousy, fear of abandonment, rage, you know, intense mood swings, episodes, and, you know, uh, self-harm, parasuicidal thinking, excoriation, you know, there's a whole network of symptoms, if you will, a plethora of these, you know, symptoms that they may be experiencing. And BPD does manifest differently between individuals. The take home is I would worry right now about treating the symptoms. You don't need your child or if you're a child, you don't need to have a BPD diagnosis to treat the symptoms, to get ahead of the problems at their root cause. Okay. I mean, it, sure. It might help. I mean, it may help, you know, a therapist or a mental health professional investigate further what's going on. If they understood that there was a, you know, real diagnosis, but most of them are reserved in terms of diagnosing at all, period. I mean, I myself, I think I saw like, I don't know, maybe 10 mental health professionals throughout my adult life. And none of them wanted to diagnose me at all with any of this. They kept saying, oh, I need to see you longer. You know, it's this long drawn out process. And you're there for like eight, nine, 10 visits. And they're still like, well, we're not sure, but I'm sure. I mean, if you read the books, if you look at the symptom list, I encourage you to check out my website, sensitivestability.com. Um, there you can kind of get a good idea of whether or not, you know, you or somebody you love has BPD. I mean, it's, it's pretty cookie cutter. I hate to say it because black and white thinking is the symptom, but it's a little black and white, okay? Like just to bring a little humor into this. But that said, treating the symptoms is most important. You get ahead of the symptoms, you get ahead of the condition, whether you've been diagnosed or not, okay? So that's... That's the good news. And I hope that this video answers those questions and kind of reaches somebody's heart because that's what it was intended to do.